Thank you. Statements by the Ministry. Responses. Member for Davenport. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, well, it gives me great uh, pleasure to speak today about the return to school and uh, in response to the minister's comments. Uh, I have to say the minister spoke uh, a lot about confidence in the system, and I have to say that what we are seeing in our school system right now is actually closer to chaos, Mr. Speaker. Uh, in fact, what we're seeing is the opposite of confidence on the part of our communities, parents, and students alike. Uh, we've seen, as I mentioned in my question this morning, record numbers of, of students actually opting out of school um, at, at a time when we know that many students are desperate to be back in school, to see their friends, to see their teachers. Uh, it gives you some insight, Mr. Speaker, into how little uh, confidence they and their families have in this government's bargain basement plan. You know, um, back in July, I proposed an emergency action plan uh, in a motion to this government. And it took months before we see it, saw any sort of plan emerge. And in those months, we wonder, what were they doing? What were they doing? Because we still, to this day, have not seen the kind of investment we need to see to stabilize the child care sector. We still haven't seen uh, a commitment to paid sick leave and other job protections for the many, many parents who we know will, in all likelihood, have to remain at home for at least part of the time over the next few months um, and risk their jobs, their livelihood, and putting food on the table. The minister talked uh, a lot about flexibility being built into the system, but as I pointed out this morning in my question, we don't want investments down the road if necessary. We want it now. We need it now. We need it today. The minister knows exactly what needs to happen. And I think parents across the province, like myself, like many of my colleagues in this room, are wondering, what's he waiting for? Why is he wasting all this time in the legislature trying to convince us he should be out there fixing the problem? It is absolutely outrageous. And I want to also stop for a moment. I won't go into great detail, Mr. Speaker, but I will tell you that the numbers that the, the minister is using I mean, are questionable. Um, when you look at how this government um, is funding this, this COVID-19 uh, return to school, you know, it really amounts to, and because he claims all the time, Mr. Speaker, that there's more teachers being, being uh, added to the school system, it, it works out to about one teacher um, for every four schools. Like that's a quarter of a teacher per school. And, and even if every school board in this province dug in and spent every penny of their reserves, that would mean only one teacher for every 700 students. That is not going to cut it. We know it. You know it. Why aren't you doing something about it? And why are you risking the lives of our children and the health of our communities? Mr. Speaker, um, I want to speak for a moment on behalf of many small business people and employers that I've spoken to as well over the last few months who have also alerted to me their concerns with this government's failure of a plan to return to school. Because at the end of the day, it's not going to just be about, of course, what we worry about, people getting sick, children getting sick, families getting sick, communities getting sick. But it is going to mean that all of our efforts to stabilize, to renew our economy, are going down the toilet, right? It is unacceptable. And I really would encourage all of those employers to speak out and share their concerns with this government, because maybe, maybe they will listen to you. Um, I also wanted to add, Mr. Speaker, because we talked about it this morning, um, the minister is, is referring often to these, these smaller class size caps. I just want to stop because he, he, he did note, he was right about one thing, which is the amazing work that our teachers, our education workers, our trustees, our school boards, our students, everybody has been doing to prepare for this moment, to, for this return to school, in spite of this government's plan. And it is the school boards their creativity, their digging into their reserves, that's enabled them to create some, some classes of 15, just a few, here and there, for the most needy communities, the most needy students. But it is absolutely in spite of this government's failures on ventilation, on busing, on class sizes. I just want to ask the minister one more time, no, please, 
Uh, don't bring it in here. Go out there, fix it, do the right thing. Our students and our families and our communities are counting on you. Thank you.